Hi, I'm Geeky Pastimes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Easter egg in Season 6 of Warzone. This takes you to a hidden train station using the maintenance train. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So this morning when season six launched, one of the first things that we noticed when we went down to metro stations is that the redacted part of the train sign, which um, you can actually see in the trailer a little bit for season six, had different numbers redacted at different stations. Now, by putting all of these pieces together, we could see that there was this code that said AE2179. So that was the first thing that we needed. You don't actually need to go to stations and look at that. That part of this doesn't change at all. Now you can complete all of this easter egg solo or you can do it in a group of three. So I'll try to explain both. The first thing you have to do is go down to City Hall, um, which is this building right in the middle of downtown that looks a little bit like a GameCube. Some people call it Dome. Now if you're doing this with three people, I'd strongly suggest you have two people go inside here and one person go outside and find a helicopter. So if you're doing it by yourself or you have another person, go into here and you'll find a little silver keypad on the wall. Now into this, you can type 2179 and it will lock you in and start a timer with some gas coming out. Now you've only got a certain amount of time before you'll die. Opposite the keypad, there's a computer you can interact with and it will show you some little portions of pictures and then possibly a number with a plus or minus before it and then a red X between each one. There'll be four of these pictures shown to you and then it will give you a chance to enter stuff on the keypad. Now these paintings are all around the room and there's actually seven of these paintings, kind of two, some of them are in the corridors and some of them are in the main room. Now we referred to them as this and this might help you. We had landscape, which was this one that had some mountains. We had the um, chateau or mansion, which some people have been calling church, which is this sort of big white building. There's beard and medal, which are both actually on the same picture. So you can sometimes get different portions from the same picture. Then we had bag, which is this picture of a woman on the opposite wall away from beard and medal. Then if you go around the corner, there'll be a statue or monument, which is this quite dark picture. There's actually two of, but they always have the same number beneath it, so it's fine. Then there's shoulders, which is this other painting of a guy and he's got big shoulder pads on. Then there's arch, which has a big picture of a horse on it. Now these are the seven paintings that you might need to use. And underneath each one, there is a number in Roman numerals. Just to remind you, if anyone's not sure, so you'd have I for one, II for two, III is three, IV is four, V is five, VI is six, VII is seven, VIII is eight, IX is nine, and 10 is just X. So you can use these Roman numerals to get a number for each painting in the order you were shown. Now on the computer, it also, remember, might have said plus one or minus two or something like that after each painting. You need to do that to the number that was beneath that painting. So for example, this one had the landscape plus two. Now, when we went to go look at the landscape painting, it was the number four. So that means the first digit of this is six. Now, it doesn't always have a sum on it. Sometimes it just goes straight to the red X, which shows you that that's the end of that part of it. And as I said, you'll end up with four numbers. Now, to enter these numbers is a little bit more difficult. You have to go use the computer again, wait till it's gone through the whole sequence, and then you will be able to um, enter the code. And it's actually along two rows. You go from left to right on the top half of each number, and then left to right on the bottom half of each number. It can be a little bit tricky at first to work out which pattern is the top of a number and which pattern is the bottom of a number. But once you've done it a couple of times, you'll be able to work it out quite quickly. You just need to sort of like judge which one looks like the top of you know a two or a four or whatever it is you need now if you get this right so you enter all four digits in properly then you'll get this screen showing that you've completed this step saying subway override authorized now this step is actually fairly tricky um to do like in the time limit the first time what makes it much easier is if you do have someone else in the room with you one person can go and do the computer and the other person can go get all of the numbers from all of the different paintings as you call them out. It's fairly easy to run around and if you've got a pen and paper next to you, you can write them down very quickly and that person can grab all the numbers. You can do the sums quickly and enter it in. Now, while you're doing this, no one else can come in. It's completely locked down so you're not going to have to worry about getting shot as long as there was no one in there when you locked it down. 
But if you do end up dying because you take too long and the gas kills you, when you come back and you start the lockdown again, all of the numbers and the paintings and the sums and everything will have changed. So you have to start from the beginning. You can't use the numbers that you thought were on the paintings before. You won't have the same paintings that you have to visit or anything like that. So you have to start completely again. It has bugged out for us once where it kind of kind of kept the same and then when we uh, but didn't shut the doors and when we shut the doors it started again so if it does bug out completely i would say it's better just to start another game and then go back there and start afresh once you've completed it and you've got that subway override authorized now you need to make your way to the Verdansk airport metro station you can ride the metro around from downtown if you want or if you've got an extra person like we said before with a helicopter waiting you can just fly straight up there when you get to the Verdansk Airport metro station, you can go in the main entrance and then it's one of the rooms at the end of the platform. Or if you just take this little manhole, you can drop down there and make sure you use a parachute if you're not using a ladder. And then that will take you straight to the room. Now you'll have a computer there that you can just press the button on. You don't need to do any more puzzles now. You've basically done this. And it will say rebooting for a while. It will keep on saying rebooting for quite a long while until the platform's clear. So sometimes like we had to wait for a train to clear if you just stand there waiting for a while, eventually it will tell you that there's a train on its way. Then once it's said that, you need to get on the next train that comes in. On the boards where it says where it's going, it will say maintenance instead of whatever it would normally say. And that's how you know this is the right train. Be a little bit careful because if the train was coming anyway and then you press the button, you might just have the normal train. You have to wait for that one to pass first. Now, once you get into the maintenance train, um, just wait in the maintenance train and it will take you to this new secret station. On the map, it's actually a little bit kind of underneath dam. It's under the ice, sort of northwest of dam. But this is a new station. And then if you explore a bit, you'll find that there's loads of crates here. We had things like specialist tokens. We had juggernaut drops, all things like that. And then there is also the new blueprint for this Easter egg. The blueprint is for a Bruin called Firebrand and once you pick it up, I'd say make sure everyone in the party picks it up just to make sure everyone gets it. Once you've picked it up in a game, then it should be added to your inventory. And that's the Easter egg completed. You can push a button that says press any key, push that button and it will make the train leave a few seconds later so you can get back onto the map. And then you can go back into the room in the Vdansk um, terminal in order to sort of call the train again if you wanted to get back there. But obviously you might not have very much time beyond that we haven't found anything else to do inside that um extra terminal it seems like it's just a room with absolutely tons and tons of loot we have started finding some other puzzles and easter eggs and things in this season we found these strange colored cards everywhere that there seems to be 30 of them so if you want to work on that check me out on twitter check me out on twitch i'm geeky pastimes everywhere and hopefully i'll see you soon if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe